Let's write the structural formula for 3-ethyl-4-methylheptane. So the molecular formula, that's C10H22. But that really doesn't tell us how the atoms are arranged. For that, we need the structural formula. So we can see here from the name that it ends in A-N-E. When we see it ending in A-N-E, that's an alkane. That means it's going to be carbons single bonded to each other. And hept, hept, that means seven. So we're going to have seven carbons single bonded to each other. And on the third and the fourth carbon atoms, we'll have different substituents. So let's put seven carbon atoms up and work from there. So the longest chain, that's the heptane, seven carbon atoms. And these lines each here represent a hydrogen atom. So each carbon has to be bonded to four things. Let's number the chain. So we have our seven carbons. On the fourth carbon, this carbon right here, we're going to have a methyl group. So a methyl group that's just CH3. So let's put that on the fourth carbon. So far, we just have four methyl heptane. So on the third carbon, we have an ethyl group. The ethyl group, that's CH2CH3. So we're going to put that on the third carbon here. So this is the formula, the structural formula for 3-ethyl-4-methyl heptane. And again, each one of these lines here goes to a hydrogen atom. So we have our heptane, that's our seven carbon chain. On the fourth carbon, we have a methyl group. And then on the third carbon right here, we have our ethyl group. This is Dr. B with the structure for 3-ethyl-4-methyl heptane. Thanks for watching.